On top of my health stats right now, my voice is completely back. That's good. But, um, I'm not completely better as I'm still coughing and, um, just like sniffling, you know. But, you know, it's whatever. Um, I should be better by the next part, which is gonna be recorded in two days. So, yeah, that's got something to, um, yay out on. Anyways, welcome to part 56 of PGL4. Sorry for that rant still. <laughs> and my control was just acting up because I have a remote with me. Um, today we're gonna be doing the next championship. It is gonna be the Baltic Masters. Easy Class A vehicle in St. Petersburg. It is gonna be there's gonna be an overtake, a super a super coin spoon. Ooh, looks like it's gonna be at a different track that we haven't seen before. It's also gonna include a breakthrough and another super so. Okay, so here's the grid, and look who's back, John Peters in the FXX. But we know that he's always that his strength is races, but his weakness is challenges. So. There's not going to be a chance he's going to win this one. <laughs> and considering that we're going to be using a Quest A vehicle, we're going to go back to using our World Supercar concept for this. Yay. Alright, so here we go. The Project Masters. Round number one is going to be an overtake. It will be at the track through Hermitage Race in clear weather. Six rounds in this um, championship. And yeah. I can't wait to find out what the final Master Championship will be. That will be in the next spot though. And yeah. This should be very interesting. <coughs> yeah. Sometimes I'm gonna just clear my throat in order to, um, you know, let it out though, still. Okay, so, here we go. A couple of mailers in this 26 CCX as the top look at the five vehicles, and Peters is in last place with just two vehicles pass. Wow, okay. So we gotta pass six vehicles in order to win this round. Alright. Jump. That was a good jump right there, and we're going high speed, so that's why the kills are still going. We're going in a reverse direction on this track, so this makes it quite interesting for an object challenge. Ha! <laughs> two bikes right there, and we passed just two of them. <laughs> there were two bikes right there, and we just passed both of them. This is crazy. What? A yeah, the bike riders and the high classes are not, are not, are not. Race wise, and, you know, cannot go wrong. The turns very good. All right, so our first call that we pass, first call we pass is gonna be in Enzo Ferrari. And I'm in sixth place right now. Pass Jam Peters. <laughs> and next call is a Jaguar XC 220S. I'm in third place now, passing four vehicles. This is good. Let's see him fish up. <laughs> in second. The John Supercar, I believe, yeah. Or is it gonna be a different car? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure he he drives the Class B car, yeah. Oh, wait a minute, I was thinking of a Class B. We were driving Class A cars. Uh -huh, I'm Class A vehicles. Uh -huh. Oh, excuse me for that. Uh, I apologize. That's for mistake the uh, because we passed class B cars and maybe we think to believe that we're driving class B in this or we're driving class A so you know screw me <laughs> I guess Whoa the car gets loose I'm right behind this rough RT12 here <laughs> Now Now this paper mail is the guy passed for the record as I got past one more vehicle in order to win this round The vehicle's right up there it's another car of course is a because he's on the F. There's a last vehicle, call, vehicle up there. It is also a car, it looks like. Yes, it is a car. And that particular car is a Dodge Fabric Competition Group. Wish I could drive it again, but I don't. But I can't, of course. And my own rules, yeah, I can't. For this LP. And we have completed two laps of this um, track. Was on the, the overtake round, the time you know, and the time was ended. So yeah. <coughs> All right. So I win round number one of the Baltic Masters. 
and this many kilos because of overtakes and um, <laughs> yeah, high speeds and um, air time as well. Here's where everyone finished. Peter's. Oh, he, oh, he got seventh now. So is Peter Wilson that um suck that um. They were tied with, but um, I guess it was de determined by kudos wise. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that that's understandable. Alright, let's go on to the next round in the Baltic Masters, which is gonna be a Supercell. Wow, okay. It's gonna be at the oh the short track power square for five laps in wet weather. It hasn't even rained yet, so how could the world be wet if it hasn't rained yet? <laughs> that's what that's what I'm wondering here. It's weird that we're doing a superstar at a very short track. I really find that weird. Yeah, simply just drive the bike. Oh, okay, yeah. Alright. And then the guy 999 all oh, so works. He has a record of 23 kill stars and then Pierce has 9 as he's um, gonna be possessed of 7th. Let's get a good record here. Just call my, my drift. Let's see. I mean, we're in wet water, so it should be able to drift. Oh yeah, this, this is quite a good car to drift with, I believe. Nine of them earned. Oh, only a maximum of five? Wow, okay. I guess that's fine. I guess. Wow, way to go over the limit though, game. You can only have a maximum of 5 kill stars after you reach a 500. I can't believe I just run that. I mean, why? Oh, wait, 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 let's wait a minute and yeah. Whoa, that's 1,000 kilos earned straight forward. I still need to earn three more in order to um pass Sam Bishop's record. And we're just on the last lap too, so I gotta make haste here. Oh, we were just ending off right there, you know, with the that. I never thought that after you reach a 500 limit, you can't earn any more kilo stars right there. It is only a maximum of five. Oh, okay then. At least on the bright side, I earned, I earned a lot of kudos from the Superstar Challenge. This was crazy. A short track, and we did it for five laps. <laughs> Amazing. How can someone with a bike be able to reach that amount? So, I mean, I was driving a bike in the off-screen thing. Like us. Off-screen arcade events, and it was tough though. It was tough to drift up a bike. I mean, how do you how do you think you drift a bike and earn a record that top? That much? I'm not sure. Anyways, round number three is gonna be a super cone sprint. Uh, control will cooperate with me. It's gonna be you at the track sprint three for three laps in overcast weather. Since this is a new track that I've learned about, I thought they were. I thought for now there will be two sprint tracks that was not used, but there's apparently there's the third track though. This is weird. This is weird that there's a third track, so. Alright, Andres Man has a top time of 147. Alright, so. Let's go. Let's see how we can do with this new track, so. Of course, I've driven here once, but I don't remember. Oh, because of the control not cooperating, it just does this for me. Okay. Let's see how we do here. Let's just say this is our first time doing this. It's actually my second time, but this is actually your first time seeing this, you know. I'm pretty sure there's not a video on I'm pretty sure there's not a video about this track though, so this is possibly your first time seeing this track. And look at this, it's not normal because weather is actually, you know, lightning with the skies, it's just that the of course the world is dry and that the sun is covered. Oh uh, there's some lag creating. I don't get what the lag is. This track is quite unique though. I will say though, this track is quite unique. Oh, now it's now it's about to turn to light wing weather. I mean, it's raining light wing right now though. But is the sun gonna come up? I'm not sure. Yep, 
Yep, yep, it looks like the sun's gonna come up. Anyway, here we go, final lap, yo. I guess this is the, yeah, I think this is the reverse direction, though, because I don't know what the forward direction is. I mean, it's not available custom match mode, so there's no, so there's no decision on whether it is forward or reverse, but I would determine that fact for sure, whether it is forward or reverse. I would say this is reverse, so. Such a good time advantage I have here. Well, it's not really like we. I don't know why the lag was created though. I'm not very sure. And there we go. Time of one day four. I beat um, Andreas Mid for that um, for that round. So here's where everyone has finished. And you can tell that um. Of course, it's not a normal track though, because it doesn't have any replay cameras. It only switches to action and um, um, other cameras. Yeah, it only so it only switches to action cameras. I'll just say that. Yeah, switches to action cameras around here. Oh, right, here we go. We're halfway through the next round. It's gonna be a breakthrough. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, at the endurance track, Channel Tour, and light rain weather. This has got to be interesting. An endurance an endurance track used for a breakthrough. This has got to be way interesting. I mean, we raced, we did a breakthrough at the Dimmer Strike before. Yeah, our first one was in Dimmer Strike in Shanghai. Alright, Pepper Mirrors has a top record of 13 checkpoints. Let's do so. So, yeah, um, our first breakthrough was actually at the Shanghai Dimmer Strike. Now it's at the same piece with Dimmer Strike. About, like, um, 53 parts later. Yeah. Here we go. We got past 14 checkpoints in order to win this round. Let's see how we do here. Oh, the car's bouncing off on the two wheels. No, don't do this. <coughs> yeah, regarding this, I'm I regarding my health condition, I should be better by um in the next part, which is gonna be in two days. I should be better by the end of the week though, yeah. Alright, that's two checkpoints pass. Let's just see how this track can operate here. Cause I've raced it before, but I haven't raced the entire section of the track, so let's just see how this track can operate Wait, really well. I was just using this for limited races in custom match mode or doing in time attack mode. And I was driving with the bike, the Honda SC161 around here in time attack mode. And I didn't I didn't make the entire thing. I think I think this is as this is far as much as I have have um drove around this track. I think I think this is how far I got though, you know, from previous times. So yeah. So yeah, let's just keep going on here and learn more about the track. The walls are dry. I mean, it's still raining lightly, but it, the walls are just dry. I don't get. I don't see why. By this, I don't know. Well, careful, careful. Oh, we hit the wall, but we didn't waste any kills, so that's good. Oh god, this is gonna be a tough section to go through. I can already tell. Oh, now we have to go over the bridge now? Alright. Oh, look at this. The sun is getting... The sun is getting covered by the clouds. What's happening here? And the rain seems to stop. Alright, this is the opposite of what... This is the opposite of what happened, you know, in the last round for the, with the weather change and stuff. This is the opposite way around. It's like reversing. Yeah. This, this is happening right now. The sun is covered. The sun is covered and it stopped raining. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, control yourself, Carl. Alright, so there's 10 checkpoints at this track, though. Wow, okay. Now look at this, I'm, really, I, I'm, now, I'm now catching up to Peter Wilson with those 10 checkpoints.
Go right to stop finish line is the 10th checkpoint line. Whoa! That's very high for a car. <laughs> Let's just try to pass more checkpoints in order to win this round. I mean, I got four more to pass, so this has got to be guaranteed to be official around here. I'm now in sixth place now, passing the left checkpoint. Fourth place. Alright, this is a third team checkpoint, just one more to pass and then I'll win this round. Second right now. Here comes the last checkpoint. And I'm I'm in the lead. Yay. But we'll pass more if we could get to it. Let's just drive regularly for now. So that we can um, spend, not waste our time just sitting around here and getting results and not getting results. So let's just get some results. So let's just get some top records here. So now we have driven an entire lap around the St. Dylan's track of St. Petersburg. Yep, the time was going around, you know, underneath that um, 15 seconds range before we pass the 16th checkpoint. Yes, it's the same time as that song. <laughs> That sounds a bit confusing, but you know, you'll get I me. Mean, you know what I mean. It's the same, but add an extra second to it, actually. What the college game will see. I think we might be able to, get to pass 20 checkpoints as we complete the second lap one here. Who knows, we might. I mean, look at this, I passed the 19th one. Has two laps full of, full of checkpoints around here. Oh! <laughs> Air time and high speed. That was crazy. That was fun. Oh, what? Now we, work, we have, now we reached the max cutest cap here. And we barely got past the 21st checkpoint. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> Look at that. Because of the amount of um, cutest we've been getting, we've, we've reached the max this cap of 3,000 right here crazy and here's where everyone has um, persisted themselves oh wait Peters is in last place in this wow oh my god Peters is finally for his last in an event I'm impressed <laughs> yeah okay Two more rounds in this, so here we go one of five it's gonna be a super cool sprint back at the sprint three track for three reps over the same overcast weather. If it's the same exact overcast weather, who knows what will happen? If it's the same exact though, we'll see what happens. I think we, I think for this time we're gonna go to the forward direction because it's the same weather, it's the same track, it's the same amount of laps going. Oh, okay. Pepper Mills has a top time of 149. Now is actually the actual overcast weather. This is the actual guess what you see in custom match mode. Alright, so we're going the normal direction, the forward direction here. 
So we gotta be careful on him. I mean, I know we waste. I know we. I know we wasted it before, but because we're going the forward direction, it may it may seem complicated to know when, when to break and such, you know, and when to turn. And by the way, this is three laps, so don't think this is gonna be too short, though. The last round is the superstar, so brace yourselves here. Doing so good here. I mean, look at this. I did um, about a minute after the second lap, and the top time that my opponent did is a 149. So I might get a 130 for the total time on this track in three laps, you know. Yo, look at this. Do you see something? Do you see something strange? The sun's come, the sun is shining through here. That is definitely something strange. <laughs> Look at this, under 130. <laughs> My power time was 149. That's worse than what the other silver coins went to it. I mean, I wasn't able to get a time under 130 on this, and yet they couldn't. They couldn't do it themselves. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway, so here's where everyone just finished. Another strange weather as the sun is shining through. <laughs> I'm gonna get another 100,000 kilos earned from the championship here. So yeah, here we go to the final round, which is gonna be, of course, I said it, a supercell. It's gonna be at the track market turns for one lap in clear weather. Oh, sweet, look at this. We did a supercell at a short track, now we're gonna do it at a long track, so... This is quite interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Figure this part was gonna be under 30 minutes. I think. Alright, so I'm just made as a top record of 22 kill cells. Let's try to beat that record though. See, we're now we're not gonna be going around in circles five times. Alright, so we gotta earn 23 in order to win this round. Look at this. A whole bunch of mix, mixed weather around here. It first it first was sunny, and then in the middle of the day it was rainy. And now it's sunny. And now in the afternoon it's sunny. I find that I find it very strange. So as to what's happening, we're gonna definitely gonna get some kills just by high speed and in the air. <laughs> Give me air, please. Come on! Oh, I was very close to hitting the wall. That would have wasted my kills right away. Wow, that was crazy. Well, I couldn't earn any kill stars because of that bump in the way. Yeah, it's whatever. Alright, keep it on control because this bumps are what can give me trouble though. <laughs> Look, Xavier Ferrari is in this, and yet he's driving Lamborghini in this championship. Why would you drive a car against your against your own ancestors' competitor, though? It doesn't make sense. Oh, Ross just got that kill, so right there. <laughs>
Look! Look, I'm now in the lead! Yay! But let's earn more, because I want kudos. That's a great drifting right there. Okay, there we go. And I won all the rounds in the Baltic Masters. Yay! <laughs> I have won all the rounds in the Baltic Masters. And over 4,000 kills from this round as well. Some, um, there was one more right on the max kept 3,000 kills. He's the A1 that's finished, by the way. And I could imagine where Peter's gonna be positioned. Seventh. I expected that, yeah. I was a top competitor and I earned over 100,000 kills from this, yeah. Here's the two points everyone's earned. So yeah, this was a great championship, again. Again, it's under 30 minutes long. <laughs> so another short championship has been done. And I'm still in first place, yeah. <laughs> That's how much I have right now. Next part will be the final master championship, and it's gonna take place. Ooh, it's gonna be great! The number green! This is gonna be great. Use the Quest B vehicle. Oh, what? Oh, since they haven't done the Quest B vehicle in a long time, they want the game wants us to drive more of those. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a very good night.